So remember that they'll return to the earth, but the readjustment also takes time. There's a lot of impact and toll on the human body, even though these are, of course, experienced and trained astronauts. But here's what the experts would be looking at. Look closely. Baby feet, for example. The weightlessness, and not just for nine days, but nine months, can cause the feet callus to basically diminish and can look like baby feet which means impact on the bones as much all of that because you're now in gravity will have an impact on the body dizziness vertigo there could be a walking difficulty you've been floating in space for nine months a tethered space walk and now immediately rooted to gravity the first step that you took was when the splashdown happened and your colleagues helped you get back up which means leg and back muscles may weaken. So that is something that will need to be looked at by the medical experts. Now, one of the known differences or challenges that happen to a human body from space into Earth is the bone density loss. There's increased risk, possibly of fractures, considering if the bones are not strong enough. Also remember, Sunita Williams is about 59 years of age. Butch Wilmore is about 62. There will be cardiovascular recovery that will be looked at over the next 45 days of rehab program. Spatial disorientation. You've been used to a certain spacewalk floating in the air, so to say. Now, rooted to the ground. The kind of disorientation, even though they have met those challenges, they're experienced scientists. But this is something that will be looked at in all seriousness for the next few days before they can go on and about with their life. So let's get in some experts and help understand as well what exactly are we looking at. BK Tyagi joins me. He's the former principal scientific officer of the Vigyan Parisar. And Professor uh, P.D. Sahare also joins me. He's from the Department of Astrophysics in Delhi University. I come to you first. BK Tyagi, as a former principal and a scientific officer, when you look at these visuals, the whole mission that started with the Boeing Starliner ended with the SpaceX Dragon, the challenges in it. What is it that perhaps comes to your mind, the lessons that even India is looking at, the world is looking at? Uh, I think uh, there are uh, uh, what merit to that. Now, suppose uh, if plan A is not working, you have an alternative of plan B. So if suppose like uh, this was the case of uh, public uh, partnership, public private partnership. So uh, if yes. one partner was not able to deliver that, mm. you equally, you know, uh, efficient and uh, a fully equipped uh, partner is there and uh, who has uh, proven his ability that he could he can do it and he did it. So this is uh, one aspect which is uh, unique in this uh, mission. You are going by uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, by the ship of one one company and coming by another company. Uh, so that means now there, there is a competition also uh, among um, and there are many more such company may come who are are competing for to get you know. The, the contract from uh, NASA because like India, NASA is doing executing their space mission differently. We are doing it ourselves uh, by the government itself. But here the things are different. So this is a new beginning uh, and uh, I hope the, the horizon of uh, this uh, method will, will, will further broaden and more player will come into play. And also uh, you know the way uh, the 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 finding of this experiment because uh, eight days to uh, you know uh, uh, nine months and a few days uh, uh, they got a lot of uh, you know time to do a lot of experiments. So the experiments uh, include on on physics on on plant science and on and, and in 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 the area of uh, you know physiology and biology. So these all findings will be helping us in the future mission also. Plus, uh, the, 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 the finding will be important for, for we are now planning or thinking or colonizing, you know, the the moon and, and the ascending, you know, man mission to the Mars, etc. And uh, staying in space, like for if, if we look at uh, the Indian thing, India is also planning because very recently the cabinet has uh, given a go ahead for uh, setting up the, uh, the space station. So yeah, uh, mission. that's the, also coming up. Yes. Hmm. So so all this, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, knowledge, True. which uh, the experiment, which are hmm. there, they will be helping guiding, you know, all the future missions 
Uh, That's uh, true. Uh, it, it may uh, be for the USA and NASA specific, so to say, but it's also a mankind yes. collaboration. I request you to please yes, stay on with yes. me. Professor P.D. Sahare mm -hmm. joins me. Uh, Professor, you must be interacting with a lot of space enthusiasts, youngsters who are keen, keen in this field of science and space. Tell me this, what, what do you think perhaps now that ISRO has achieved quite a few big missions, uh, whether it's uh, with regard to Chandrayaan specifically, Mangalyaan, others as well, and private uh, government partnership. We're looking at Gaganyaan as a crewed space flight. What do you think ISRO can take or the world can take from this mission that happened? It's not just about a rescue mission. It's a lot that happened in the nine months as well. Yeah, at the outset, good morning to uh, you, good morning to all your viewers. Uh, I was, uh, this, these are very spectacular uh, videos and uh, pictures. Last night I was live on another channel and uh, could see everything was very exciting. So uh, this thing, the, just seeing all these things is very exciting and very exciting for youngsters who want to learn space science and uh, this thing. So when I will interact to my students or uh, to the, uh, the other people, it's a very important kind of mission. And uh, not only that, you see that uh, this uh, astronauts had gone over there and then it said that only for nine days, but they stuck there and where then another rescue mission was planned. And then uh, uh, they, now they have been brought back uh, and this thing. So everything is exciting. But here we can see that we learn a lot from all this such kind of expeditions and when india is planning all kind of things the whatever the experience whatever the data coming out of all these things will be very very useful and then that we learned uh, in our earlier expeditions also for example when we had a uh, uh, Chandrayaan 2, uh, Chandrayaan 1, 2 and 3 and then, then there were some failures. We learned from that and then finally we succeeded. So similarly when there is coming this uh, uh, Chandrayaan five, um, 4 and later 5 and there uh, will be all such kind of expeditions and all such kind of experience and uh, all the data coming out of uh, uh, this kind of research or this kind of uh, expeditions will learn and then uh, will correct, will have some corrections and then will succeed in all other uh, future expeditions.